Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of June 3rd to June 9th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week. Scorpio. Scorpio. What's the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week? First card we have here is the Nine of Cups. We also have here the King of Wands. We also have the Fool. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. Okay. Hmm. So, Scorpio, I do feel like you are... Um, you're all about yourself, is what I'm getting, with the Fool and the Six of Wands. You're all about... Um, living your life your own way, with your own rules. Being free, being single, um, being unattached. I feel like you're harnessing this energy of, I don't need no man, I don't need any man, you know, I don't need no woman. I'm completely happy being on my own. I'm completely, you know, satisfied being on my own, doing my own thing, um, focused on my own personal goals, focused on my own personal projects, my work, my career, my finances, my personal success in life, my personal stability in life. No one is going to rain on my parade, or I'm not going to let anyone rain on my parade. I'm not going to let anyone control me or make me feel insecure. I'm, I'm going to be confident in myself and in what I want for myself, no matter what. In my truth, I'm, I'm living in my truth. I'm being my authentic self. And you either get with the program or, or you get out. I'm not letting anyone get in my way or you know, disturb, disturb me, disturb my peace or get me off track. Get me off track in, in my own life. My life, my rules, my way. And if you don't like it, then too bad for you, you know? I feel like you're just minding your own business and, and walking towards greatness in your own life. Minding your own business and walking towards greatness. Okay, so it does feel like there is some individual here who is very interested in you. I don't know who this is, but we have the King of Wands, Nine of Cups, male or female, doesn't matter the gender, this could be a woman, but someone is very um, intrigued, captivated, interested, attracted to you, and they really desire you. They really desire to be with you and to be... Um, Connecting with you. All right, I want to clarify your energy a little bit more. Let me see. Tell me about the uh, Six of Wands spirit, please. Hmm. 
I don't feel like you're giving this person any any of your attention is what I'm getting. Tell me about the six of wands. So we have the knight of wands. We also have the nine of cups. Wow. Yeah, I feel like this person really wants to pursue you. This person that's watching you. This person that's admiring you also is what I'm getting. This person that's feeling really attracted to you and desiring you. Um, I'm definitely getting that they want to chase you and they want to pursue you. But I'm also getting the energy of you not paying attention to them. You're not giving away your energy is what I'm getting. You're not giving away your energy. Spirit, tell me about the fool. Clarify the fool, clarify the fool in Scorpio's energy, please. So we have judgment here. We also have the sun. I keep getting that from you. I keep getting that from you. I feel like you're choosing to, to not focus on anything or anyone except yourself and, and, and your goals and your dreams in life. That's the only thing you're deciding to focus on. Anything else about the fool spirit for Scorpio? Interesting. We do have the devil here. Some of you might know that this person is wanting your attention, this person that's, that's watching you. You might know that they're watching you. You might know that they want your attention and you know why they want your attention. Um, it kind of looks like it's for, you know, toxic reasons with the devil card. And because of that, you're being very determined to not give them your energy or your focus or your attention because you already know what this person's all about and you're not interested. Some of you look at this person like they're very um, toxic. Okay. And, and they just want you for superficial reasons or they just want to use you. And you're not allowing that. Or you're not going to allow that. Okay. All right, let's move over to your person's side of the reading now. Let's see what's going on with them for the week. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, please. What is this person's energy towards Scorpio for this week, please? One more shuffle. Let's see. What is this person's energy towards Scorpio for this week? So looking at their energy towards you, we do have the temperance card showing up here. Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. We also have the Queen of Swords in their energy. We also have Strength card. Could be a Leo, could be also be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. Uh, again, Aquarius energy. What is this? Give me a second. What is going on here? Temperance, Queen of Swords. I'm going to clarify this Queen of Swords. Five of Swords. You know what it is, too? I wasn't getting your energy at almost at all. Your energy was completely like hidden. 
your energy is completely hidden, so I, I can barely read your energy, Scorpio. It doesn't, it doesn't want to come through. Kind of looks like you're really protecting it. So that makes me feel like you're the, you're the strength card here. Because I feel like you're very, very super protective of your energy. Which makes me, which makes me think that this is you. I feel like this person wants to have a conversation with you, um, Scorpio, with the Queen of Swords and the Temperance card. And it kind of looks like this person wants to um, fix previous issues that exist existed between the two of you or that occurred between the two of you. Um, they want to fix previous issues. Yeah. They, they want to have a conversation with you. They want to, like, work things out with you. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. They want to have a conversation with you and work things out with you. Huh. The, the problem is that... Um, you don't trust this person. Some of you look at this person like they played head games and mind games with you. They played a lot of head games and mind games with you. They deceived you. They manipulated you. For some of you, you might feel like they betrayed you. And now they want to have a conversation with you to heal things with you and to fix things with you. And I feel like you're in this energy of it just it doesn't work that way. You know, it's not that simple. You know, you can't do that. You know, you can't betray me and deceive me or manipulate me or hurt me in the way that you did and, and expect to just have a conversation and for everything to be fixed and repaired, you know? Because I feel like this person is in this energy of, can we just... Can we just get over it, you know? Can we just get can can we just move past it, you know? Can we just talk it out and you know, leave it in the past and and move on? And I feel like you're in this energy of no, it's it, it's not that simple. It's not that easy. This is not a quick fix, you know? This is not a quick fix situation like you did a lot of things that, you know, were disrespectful or that, you know, were were hurtful, were disappointing, um, were upsetting. For it was upsetting for me, you know. So it just kind of looks like you're not so receptive, Scorpio, to working things out with this person because you feel like this person wants to just kind of gloss over things, or you know, they just want to quickly get rid of the 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 issues between the two of you. And I feel like you don't appreciate that. I feel like you don't appreciate that. Hmm. All right, let me clarify this person's energy. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Swords to the Temperance card, please. Oh, geez. Once again, we have the Five of Swords. So now we have it twice showing up here with two different decks, um, which is not good. This is, this, is why, this is why you're not receptive. This is why you're not receptive because it kind of looks like, you know, um, it, it got bad. You know, it got really bad between the two of you. Like, it was, very, it was really immature. It was really... Um, spiteful it was it, it was really manipulative it, it was it was ugly you know it was it was really ugly and that's not something that you're just going to easily forget and move on from the way this person wants you to do you don't feel like that's fair and you feel like 
this person is not really considering you. Or they're not really... Um, they're not really seeing things from your perspective. Is what I'm getting. They're not really seeing things from your perspective. What else can you tell me about Temperance and the Queen of Swords spirit? Six of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Death card. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Swords. A lot of swords. Uh, air sign element here. Yeah, it just feels like that. It feels like they just want to move on from it very quickly. They want to move on from whatever issues you two had with each other very quickly. And um, you're, you're not on board with that because, you know, you, you're still carrying a lot of hurt. And it just kind of looks like you feel better just being on your own. Right now, you're feeling good. Right now, you're feeling really good being on your own and doing your own thing and focusing on yourself. You, you, you feel a lot better doing that than, than dealing with this person. You know? But I definitely see this person coming towards you in their energy, okay? All right, so Scorpio, I'm going to stop the reading right here and I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper, I will be taking a deeper look at this person here. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.